Hello and welcome back to Vinrylandia. Last time, what did we do last time? I can't even remember. Oh yeah, no, I remember now. Oh lord, I can see it from space. We worked on the amazing walking path, and as I said last time, I'm going to continue working on the amazing walking path. But first we need to do a little work in Jolly City Central, just to keep the expansion at a good rate. We are in dire need of industry. Let's, of course, run this at full speed. We are in dire need of industry, so let's start making a bit of that. Okay, the last section of all of the offices of Vinrolandia shall be placed right here. Oh lord, I'm still no good with this camera. No good at all. Oh lord, okay. Doesn't really matter how much I'm ever going to play it, I'm still going to be terrible at the camera. Because of all the things in games, that's like the one thing that I never get any better at, except for Dark Souls. In Dark Souls, you have to get better at the camera. If you don't, you die. If you do, you die anyway. It's really just a vicious cycle of dying over and over again. And then your self-esteem just plummets, and... You contemplate suicide, but then you realize that that would just be dying again, and that's not actually going to fix your problems, and you curse Dark Souls to high hell. But that's uh, secondary at this point. Okay, we're going to put the last of these offices in here. Make sure we have lots of jobs for all of the people of Jolly City Central that have nothing to do with capitalism, because capitalism is so not the way that Jolly City Central wants to go. It's not their... It's not their jive, really. They're all about bringing people together and not, of course, selling ridiculous things that may lead people to be divided in the end. Like knickknacks. You think, oh, knickknacks, I'll be fine. There's nothing wrong with those. But once you get down to it, the knickknacks are a massive problem. Because you will find that one person has a copious amount of knickknacks, and another person just doesn't have that same copious amount of knickknacks. And it causes large amounts of jealousy. That jealousy leads, of course, to brutal murder as one person beats the other person to death with the knickknacks. Oh, we don't, it's so bad. I mean,. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, and Jolly City Central just wants to make it not be that anymore, because that's their only goal in life, literally their only goal. It's really weird and concerning, and we're, we are watching them very closely to make sure that they don't completely lose their minds, because when they do, no doubt we're going to have very happy people trying to kill us all to purge the world of the hatred. It's just an inevitability. We're keeping them around because, you know, they're okay. They're not terrible people. They do add a lot of population to our city, which is, of course, very important for any city to have. Massive amounts of population. Why even have a city to begin with if there's no one in there? It's very important. Come on. There, we got a fire station down here. Just to help out with a bit of fire coverage here. It'll be brilliant. Okay, now that Jolly City Central is pretty much fully, um, what is this, zoned up. That's how I'll say it. We need to finish this walking path. You buildings, get the frick out of here. What's wrong with you? You all crazy. That's what's wrong with you. Okay. We're going to build the walking path of doom. It's not really of doom all that much outside of the massive amount of heart attacks from elderly people that will occur as they don't quite realize just how far they have to walk in order to get from one place to another using this walkway, which is really... It's disgustingly far that you have to walk. It's so bad. It's literally miles. Not even joking. It's a couple miles long. It's... Oh. I, I cannot go on long enough about how ridiculous this walking path is. So I'm going to stop, and we're just going to build it. And everybody's going to be happy, and if anybody isn't happy, 
You know what happens. I'm not happy, and when I'm not happy, heads roll. That's what happens. It's, it's unfortunate that occasionally there have to be, of course, public executions within Vinralandia, but sometimes it has to be done. Pretty sure I just cut power to uh, all of Jolly City Central. Let's see. Uh, no. No, I didn't. Huh. How did I not do that? I don't know. I find it a bit too risky to sit around and see if it does go downhill, so we're just going to go like that. And then we're going to have this connect up this last part of the amazing walking path of doom, death, and destruction. All things that really don't have anything to do with this walking path at all. We're just going to have it come up here come down into the residential area and connect with a nice street. This street, preferably. Can we do it from here? Nope, space occupied. Okay, we're gonna do it right like this. It's gonna go right down very nicely onto that street, just like that. Brilliant, brilliant, okay. So now we got our connection to Jolly City Central. Looks as bad as every other connection to every other place that we've had. Why am I building this? I don't even know. Okay. Then we're going to have the final connection. Might I note, there is a god-awful amount of traffic going on. It's being worked with pretty nicely. We're not, like, having traffic problems, which is always good. But it's still a god-awful amount of traffic. There we go. And this one will link right up into a park. Look at that. That is a nice connection. And then they can go straight into the unnamed lands. It'll be brilliant. Okay, so we have a connection to Cultopia, Goatsburg, Brandburg, Witsville, the unnamed lands, Bat Town. I think we have both of the connections, maybe? Or are we only going to do one? We're only going to do one. I'm lazy. Ha! <laughs> That's how it works. Jolly City Central is all connected up. We need Neo Marketopia to have a little connection as well. So we are going to actually help out the octopus in looking as ridiculous as it always has looked by building a path right down here and into the mess of roads comprising of both the octopus and the double helix of the airport. Because really... Can we help it but make this place look more ridiculous? I feel like it's just called to be ridiculous at this point. It can't be denied that ridiculousness is the key to our society. There we go. And now we're connected up to Neo Marketopia. Oh. What? What is this? Oh, I see. I see. The power grid moved a little when we destroyed those two buildings. So I just need to build one more pylon and it'll all be back up and running. You know how I said all the traffic was moving really nicely? Well, not anymore. Hmm. This merging isn't quite working out. We can probably fix this, though. Let's, let's pause it for a second and do a little test. We're going to destroy this. Where can we have that connect? I'm just looking at the situation. So we can have this... This is going into the octopus off of the highway. So we can have it connect here, maybe. I probably shouldn't be using the uh, bulldozer tool for this. That would probably be a good idea. Okay. We need to get the that road. So we can have it connect here, or we could see if we can thread it through and connect it like here, but that'll mean they'll have to go all the way around to get into uh, Neo Marketopia, which is not preferable. So we're probably just going to connect it here and see how that works out. Like that angle. Come on, get the other angle. I saw it. There we go. That one. It's a bit of a crazy curve going into it, and by a bit of a crazy curve, I mean it's about the most ridiculous curve in the world. 
Man, they have to slow down a lot for that. Okay. We're going to go back into pause and we're going to fix this even better, okay? So, oh lord, we cut the highway! Oh god, how could you possibly cut the highway? How will the Vin people of Vinerlandia ever get to where they need to go if the highway is cut? Come on, demolition crew, we have to talk about this. You need to understand that we can't always knock down things. Sometimes we need to keep them in place. Okay. Now we're just going to connect it right up to here. No crazy turns, just a nice gliding turn right into the octopus's main body. And that should help this traffic flow a bit better. I hope. Could make it flow worse, I don't know. But we'll just let that work itself out and see what happens. Okay. Jolly City Central working itself up quite nicely as it tries to push its jolly pills to literally everyone in the world. The double helix getting almost no traffic, but that's fine. Oh lord. This is bad. Okay, what if we do this? I'm gonna do something that has never been attempted before, except I think I did it before, so it's fine. We are going to upgrade this off-ramp into a highway. So it's gonna be a highway that uh, cuts off into a highway, and then goes into a highway roundabout. In other words, it's a triple highway system. Very dangerous. Never before attempted in Vinerlandia, the triple highway system. I'm concerned. I'm very actually terrified at the prospects of a triple highway system. I'm actually talking to zoning people right now and trying to destroy the triple highway system because it's terrible. It is a risk to the very foundations of what Vinolandia stands for. And as soon as I figure out what Vinolandia as a whole stands for, I'll tell you exactly what that is, but it's still unknown. Because, really, Vinolandia is ridiculous. It stands for so many different things, and no one can figure out exactly which one is the most important. I mean, if we look at what Vinerlandia stands for, which I think this is a good time to do so, let Jolly City Central build up a little bit. Cultopia over here, the founding section of Vinerlandia, has of course always stood for the killing of goats and virgins. It's not really a spiteful thing, it's more of just Cultopia needs them for their rituals. It's a very important part of their life. On the other hand, we have across the highway Goatsburg, a small rural, rural, it's not rural, it's just suburban, the small suburban town of Goatsburg, where the people of Goatsburg really believe in keeping goats alive. Contrary to the beliefs of Cultopia, there we have our first major issue when we talk about what Vinerlandia really stands for. Does it stand for the killing of goats, as Cultopia would say, or the saving of goats? As Goatsburg would say, it is very debatable. We then have Brandberg, who believes in uniformity and normalcy, very contrary to Cultopia. I'm just going to go over all of them because I say I don't have anything else to do. But we've got some pretty decent commercial demand, and oh, look at that, Witzville is all filled up. How nice. How nice. Okay, Witzville believes in... Just ridiculous things, all the time. Ridiculousness is the key to Witzville's existence. Weird and wacky is the key, very contrary to Brandenburg. What the heck was that sound? Oh, that's a plane. There's a plane somewhere. Let's get out of here, plane. I'm trying to, trying to talk about our different districts. We have Bat Town, which believes in Batman. Very simple, not very controversial. And we have Jolly City Central, which believes in the unity of everything. How in the world can we put all of those together into a very nice, compact package, one word describing what Cultopia believes in? The answer is that we can't. It's too much. There's too many different points of view existing at one time. Perhaps we should eradicate so many of them. Just go on a purge, a genocide of all the different beliefs. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea, but we'll, we'll keep it in mind. We'll consider it. 
it's it's worth consideration, maybe. Potentially. What the heck is this thing? The Grand Mall! People always like to shop. Tourists even more so. Why not have a mall where you have more of them coming in? Why not have a mall when you have more of them coming in? Okay. I think I read that slightly wrong. It's okay. Ah, uh, ah, oh, that's nice. I didn't know the Grand Mall existed. That's why I got a bit excited about the entire thing. What the heck are all these things? Aquarium. What's this? Science Center. Very nice. Expo Center. I remember the Expo Center. I've built it before. It's okay. It's not bad. I've had better. Uh, 3 out of 10. Oh, look at Cultopia. Cultopia. Cultopia, what can we do for you that will make you feel better about yourself? You, in the recent times, Cultopia has accepted into itself the grip, the iron grip of science. And I believe it is quite important to foster the idea of science within Cultopia. So, in doing so, cultish sciences, of course, one would call them a... Uh, oh, I'm forgetting. Alchemy, there we go. It's actually alchemy, not actual legitimate science. Wow, uh, that's going to get... That's going to lose me a lot of points just saying that in for the, from the voters, but that's okay. Um, not legitimate science, just alchemy, but... They need a place to show off all of the amazing science that they're talking about there. And what better of a place to do so than a science center? <laughs> so we're going to build a science center for them. That's the expo center. That's the science center. It's going to go right here. Boom. And what shall it be called? What else but the grand... Alchemy Center, where they show off all their amazing alchemy. They turn lead into two pieces of lead with a hammer. It's impressive, actually. They just take the hammer, they hit the lead, and it breaks into two pieces, and they say, Eureka! And everyone just starts clapping very slowly, just fast enough so that you know they're really interested in it, but not so quickly that they're, like, freaking out or anything. And right across the way, of course, we'll have a medical clinic. In the event that during any of these presentations, people see it and just completely become dumbfounded by the thought of alchemy within Cultopia, at that point, they will really need a medical center to just keep them from completely losing their minds. It's more of a psych ward, but still, it's it's very important to the sanity of the tourists that show up here. And in order to try to help with the traffic, it's not going to be a bunch of traffic that's going to be caused here. What are these? These are four-lane roads, I see. In order to deal with a bit of the traffic, we're going to just build a four-lane road right out to this what was once a service road, and it'll have a closer connection to the highway. Hopefully help out just a bit. We'll build back a bit of this residential all around the science center. I'm sorry, the Grand Alchemy Center. And now, in the event that people... Now, people will actually live directly next to it, and they will be able to experience alchemy every day, even though they are cultists and they experience alchemy every day. Anyway, distance too short, shut up. There is no distance too short to build a road. You could build a road that's one centimeter long. It wouldn't be very useful, albeit, but it would still be a road and it would still be a thing. We have to consider this. It's very important to build one centimeter long roads. Come on now. That was terrible. That was, that was sad. Okay. I misclicked. We made a tiny one centimeter road. And while I said that one centimeter roads are very important, I did it again! Why? Why, Cultopia? Do you insist on your one centimeter roads? They're very important, but they need to only be used where necessary. 
Oh, what is this? It's a megalopolis, which sounds like some terrible prehistoric creature. The megalopolis in its natural habitat. Here we see it feasting upon the corpse of a raptor that it just killed with one toe. Anything that can kill a raptor with one toe is terrifying. What did we get this? We reached 80,000 population. Very nice. We got a new area and monuments? What in the heck is monuments? The space elevator? The Eden Project? The Hadron Collider? Oh, Lord. It's amazing. Oh, we can probably actually... We could probably get a space elevator. Holy... Holy bucks. We might be able to do that. We'll look into that next time. Right now, we really need to finish that road right there. Okay, good, it's done. And with that, we come to the end of the episode, which has been quite an interesting episode so far, I would say. We've uncovered a new form of science in the form of alchemy within Cultopia that is now being showcased in the Grand Alchemy Center. Jolly City Central has almost completely filled itself. The walking path of doom is disgusting and done for now. We aren't connected to the Northern Triforce, but we're also not connected to the Knickknack Emporium of Magic, so shut up, Northern Triforce. Get over it. And yeah, that's, that's a pretty eventful episode, I think. If I were to give it an eventful rating between 1 and 6, I'd give it about a... Uh, 4.7. Probably around there. 4.7. Very good. Okay. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. When we come back, we will examine the space elevator. I have no clue what it is, what we need to do for it. Well, I kind of know what we need to do for it. We need to build monuments like these guys. We'll look at what we need to do, see if we can't get it, build it like, I don't know, smack in the middle of everything, just randomly, right next to the airport. It's going to freak everybody out. But yeah, until then, thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.